Hello friends, it's Daria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with a process video for week number 31 in my Project Life 2023 album. And I am actually telling a story of a trip that I went on this week and partially just, you know, some little stories of other stuff that happened, but primarily I had planned to, um, you know, have extra space for the stories uh, from the long weekend that we had and my partner and I actually went to Toronto and had three days there and obviously took a bunch of photos, um, did a bunch of things. So I knew I would need some extra space and not just, you know, the regular uh, spread, which would be what, 9 by 12 times 2, so like 18 by 12. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and add an extra page or an insert in the middle of these two pages but this is my overall spread so on the left I have photos that I took throughout the week and on the right I have kind of the leftover photos that I had from the trip so I'm using the Ali Edwards explore story kit that came out this summer and I kind of thought it was perfect timing and it was just meant to be for me to use this kit the only additional things that I used in um, the spread were the labels and stamps that didn't come with the kit. So these labels that I'm stamping on right now are from Storytelling Basics from Ali Edwards. I don't think they're available anymore, but she has a lot of similar ones. And I'm stamping out week 31 with Marquee Alpha Stamp from Heidi Swap and using my little um, rolling stamp, date stamp from Amazon. So anything that's still available, I will link down below in the video description. I cut up the one of the six by eight papers that came with the kit to make this explore card. Um, I don't tell that many stories and other types of albums. I prefer to either use pocket pages or notebooks. Um, at least that's kind of how I've been working this year for um, for like documenting my life. So um, anything that's kind of like outside of the page protector, I usually cut up or save for later. But in this case, there were a lot of really cool pattern papers in this kit and I just didn't want to hoard them. I decided, you know what, I'm just going to cut everything up and use it for, um, you know, my project life. So here I'm just using one of the little labels with a Heidi Swap August stamp. Um, I took a pole dancing class and I took this photo at the end of a pose that we learned to do and I wanted to like signify that I was doing something for fun and so um, in Heidi's agenda stamp sets there are all these like definitions so I took the definition of fun which is enjoyment, amusement or lighthearted pleasure and I thought it went really well with um, this photo and I also have some photos of flowers and a sunset that I captured but uh, that was basically kind of you know I didn't have a particular story for those photos they were kind of more filler photos I have to say but they're still pretty and I like to document you know how my yard looks every month in the summer while flowers are blooming and things like that and I am also using another label. So these labels I think are from Ali Edwards and I've had them for a while. I know that they're also available through Studio Calico um, in their like color theory um, sets so you can get them in different colors. I super love them. I use them a ton and sometimes they just work great as embellishments so in this case I just wanted to stamp on them to add a little something because I felt like this kit was super colorful. It had this beautiful green, which I, I love the deep green. And it had a lot of colors in this like explore, explore, explore card. Plus it just had a lot of colorful photos for my, you know, from the trip. Like you can see the houses on the right side. Uh, that's in Kensington Mar Market in Toronto. And everything is painted and has graffiti and murals and it's just like super busy. So I wanted something that's not going to be like too embellished but still add some sort of dimension to the spread so i like how like the few little labels turned out and to me that looks great here i'm starting to assemble 
these 3x3 three three photos that I printed out for the page that's basically going to go in the middle of the spread. So that's what I often do when I have a week with events or travel. I still like to document them somehow. I will have a separate traveler's notebook for this trip that I'm working on. I started while I was traveling, but I haven't completed it yet. So when it does become available, I will link it um, up at the eye and put the link in the video description, but it might take me some time to finish it. However, because I had all these photos and I'm not printing them for the Traveler's Notebook, I definitely wanted them to be in my project life. And you can see here, I was kind of fiddling with like cut off paper, like pattern paper to see if I could embellish it somehow. I decided against it. I had these little flags, I think that's what they're called, the, uh, the black little um, embellishments that came with the Explore Story Kit. And again, I thought they were like a very nice way to add some interest to the photos without making it too busy. So I think that they're perfect. I did cut up this uh, three by eight uh, pattern paper. It's not three by eight. It's like three and a half by eight point seventy five or something like that, or eight point twenty five, because it goes outside of the page protector. But again, I don't think I have any use for it um, because I, I don't actually like scrapbooking outside of the page protector because. I find that things get kind of warped and they're just not as secure as I feel they are in the pockets. So my kind of play time usually happens like in my traveler's notebook. That's where I stamp and I kind of go crazy with like the flips and interactive stuff. But lately I haven't been doing that in my scrapbooks. So everything goes in pockets. That's why I cut it up. So I'm also going to cut up this like black and white. I don't even know what this pattern is. Dots? Not really. But um, I thought that it was also like, first of all, of course, it goes well with the colors of the kit, but it's also like it adds a little bit of texture, but it doesn't make it too busy. So I really like that as well. And I added these um, circles that came with the kit. They are chipboard and I'm going to take off the backing from them. I also considered using the plastic circles. Uh, like the one with the compass and the suitcase, but I thought that they were just too much. I did really like them, and there's something to be said for like just using the kit, but I just felt like, no, not this time. Uh, so all I'm going to do is use these two chipboard circles, one on each side with a camera, and then the, one that, the blue one that says currently exploring. And that's going to be it. And a few of those black flags. And that's really it for embellishments. Because I'm trying to keep it simple. You can see how many colors there are. I even had to make some photos black and white. Uh, just to tone it down a bit. But I did have many more photos. It was These are definitely like my favorites. And the ones that I kind of felt communicated the vibe the best because obviously Toronto is a giant city with like tons of going on we managed to do so much in three days I have a vlog in the works uh, but again it took so many videos that it's going to take me a while to sort through them so once again when it's completed I will link it up at the eye and down in the video description but Give me some time because I filmed a lot of things. I probably actually filmed more than I took photos, which was a new thing for me. But I like experimenting with different ways of documenting my trips. So this trip is going to be documented in Project Life, which I'm happy to have, you know, at least this is done. The Traveler's Notebook is going to take longer and the vlog is probably going to take even longer. But it's at least I have, you know, the snapshots of like us eating Brazilian food and like uh, walking around, looking at architecture, um, you know, and just exploring different neighborhoods and shopping and things like that. So I'm happy how this is turning out. Um, but that's basically it for the spread. It was actually pretty easy and quick. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thanks, thank you so much. Have a nice day.